Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I show you this homemade galvanometer. As you can see, it's pretty simple. And of course, it does not have too much precision, but it is an excellent as a science project because it illustrates how the galvanometer works and is very easy to build. The galvanometer is an instrument that is used to measure the intensity of the electric current. And here, as you can see, I have this coil, 100 turns of magnet wire, gauge uh, 30, and also here I have these other magnets, several magnets that are on this metal axis. Okay, you can see this axis rotates because it is mounted here on this miniature ball bearing. Let me put the magnets again. Okay. And also I have here another magnet whose function is to maintain the other magnets in a direction parallel to the coil axis. Then, when a current circulates through the coil, the coil becomes an electromagnet and we will have a north and a south pole. Therefore, the moving magnets will try to align with the magnetic field of the coil. So, when we have a current circulating, we will see a rotation of the magnets. And the angle of rotation is proportional to the intensity of the electric current. So the angle will give a measure of the intensity of the electric current. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, Consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. Okay, so I have connected the coil to the power supply and we have zero volts, therefore no current is circulating through the coil. The magnets are parallel to the coil, but let me apply some voltage, 0.2 volts, and you can see the movement of the magnets. We have now 47 milliamps. If we increase the voltage, the current will go up, of course, and the magnets continue to rotate. Now we have 140 milliamps. And increasing the voltage increases the current and the angle is larger, 378 milliamps. And we decrease the voltage, the current goes down, and the magnets return to the rest position. Okay, so there you have it. A very simple homemade galvanometer I hope you liked this video, thanks for visiting my channel and see you in the next one.